Hi everyone. So let's now try to multiply these two matrices. Now you might be thinking that why I am telling you to multiply these two matrices at this stage when we are all all set to fly. I mean why we are just uh, just bringing back back with the basics. It is just for the sake of practice and then we will actually do some gate question. So that is why I wanted to make some practice before that. So suppose if you want to multiply these two matrices, then how you will be mul multiplying using the another way? You will be saying that this this particular column is basically a linear combination of these columns. Similarly, similarly, this particular column will be a linear combination of these columns. Similarly, this particular column, right, the last column will be also the linear combination of these columns. And then how you will be getting the coefficients? Very easy. Let's suppose you want to get this column. You will be writing 213. This is the first column. And then you will be writing 501. 501 and then you will be writing 221 221 and then what you will do you will just add all of this and you will just take the coefficients from here which means 2 times this right so you will say that 2 times this plus plus 2 times this column plus 0 times this column will be your this this column right so that is how you will be calculating this column i hope you understood now suppose you want another column which means let's suppose instead of first column you want the second column then what will the coefficient so this is the first column right and now let's suppose you want the second column this is the second column okay so this is the first column let me just write the first column in the similar way so this is the first column but now we are looking for the second column so you will say the coefficients are now currently the coefficients are 1 then 2 and then 0 that is how you will be getting the second column similarly you can get the third column also right uh, using these coefficients so i hope that is fine now let's just do one thing instead of these three by three matrices let me just take some uh, matrix which is not a square matrix which means uh, let me let me see the number of uh, uh, like uh, the number of columns here in the first should be the number of rows so let's suppose there are only two columns okay suppose these are the only two columns and there are only two rows Suppose, I mean, uh, this is a new new set of matrices that I have. So this question is completely new that I had with the earlier question. So let me just say that this question is not relevant to, I mean, not at all having having any coincidence with the earlier question. Okay. So let's suppose I want to solve this particular question, which means here I have uh, I have two rows and two columns instead of instead of square things I have in the rectangle things right then what you will do you will do the similar thing which means if you want to get this column this will be a linear combination of these two columns now the first column is 213 the second column is 501 501 you will take the linear combination of these two columns which is 213 and 501 and then you will be writing it here which means the coefficients here are if you if you are talking about just for the coefficients then it will be 2 and 2 right it, the 2 and 2 will be the coefficients and will, you will be writing the first column here now suppose the first column is done now you need the second column for the second column can you tell me the coefficients for the second column the coefficients will be 1 and 2 right so the coefficients will be 1 and 2 this is 1 and 2 and then this is the first column you got then you will be getting the second column using using this these things now suppose you want the third column then the coefficients will be 0 and 1 0 and 1 and then you will be getting your third column also right this is the third column you will be getting your third column also so basically you can get all the columns using the linear combination of these two columns that's what we have seen in our walmart like in my in my walmart interview question right So this question has been asked in Walmart. I mean, uh, how to multiply these two matrices related to that? This question has been asked in Walmart to me. So I answered uh, like I struggled, I struggled initially, but then okay, I managed to answer somehow. I mean, because I was not dealing, I was not teaching LA at that time. Okay, cool. So I hope this is fine. I mean, now you know that how to multiply two matrices. Now let's just do one thing. Let's now modify these two matrices dimension little bit more. So instead of instead of you know two uh, this is I mean two two columns two rows instead of two columns two rows let's just do a bit more interesting thing and here so see the number of columns here are basically the number of rows in the second right so if there is one column so I need to take one row so let's suppose now we are we are moving things a little more interesting and now we are saying that let's suppose there is only only one row okay there is only one row and there is only one column. So suppose that's, that's the story that there is only one row and there is only one column. And now, now we want to find out the multiplication. 
कैन यू डू इट जस्ट ट्राई इट एज एन होमवर्क आई मीन जस्ट पॉज द वीडियो एंड ट्राई इट एंड देन वी विल जस्ट सी इफ वी कैन एक्चुअली डू इट सो डायमेंशन वाइज एवरी सिंग इज ओके राइट ओके सो इफ यू ट्राई डूइंग इट वॉट यू विल बी गेटिंग यू विल बी लाइक इफ यू वॉन्ट द डायमेंशन देन इट विल बी बेसिकली द डायमेंशन हेयर इज थ्री रोज वन कॉलम एंड दिस इज वन क्रॉस थ्री सो दैट इज वाई इट शुड बी थ्री क्रॉस थ्री राइट नाउ टेल मी कैन यू मल्टीप्लाई दिस टू सी यू विल बी गेटिंग द फर्स्ट कॉलम हेयर द सेकंड कॉलम हेयर एंड थर्ड कॉलम हेयर देर दीज आर द थ्री कॉलम्स एंड ऑल आर हैविंग द थ्री रोज आई मीन दिस इज दिस कॉलम इज इन आर थ्री बेसिकली राइट बिकॉज दिस डायमेंशन इज थ्री बाय थ्री कूल नाउ टू गेट दिस फर्स्ट कॉलम हाउ यू विल बी गेटिंग विद द लीनर कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ दीज कॉलम्स एंड द क्वेश्चन विल बी कमिंग फ्रॉम हेयर विच मीन्स Currently, this first column is nothing but is nothing but this, which is two into two one three. Interesting, right? Yes, this is very interesting. See, this first column there is only one column, so the or every column here it will be the linear combination of these columns. Since there is only one column here, you will be writing linear combination of this one column only, and the coefficients will be coming from here. This is two one zero. What about the second column, right? What about the second column? The second column also you can get using the using the column this this first column which means the second column here just just try to uh, try to answer this question what will the coefficient just try to answer this question so what is the coefficient for the second column what do you think it will be one right it will be one and then you will be having this is second column now can you tell me what will the third column so let let just see that what will be the third column the third column will be Two one three into zero. So that's how you can find out all the columns. See, this is the first column, which is two into two one three. The second column is one into one one into two one three, and the third column is zero into two one three. Right. So that is how you can get these three columns. I hope that is fine to everyone. Right. Like how we are multiplying uh, this matrix, which is just having the dimension three into one, and second matrix, which is also having the dimension, which is just one into three. How we are multiplying these two matrices. I hope that is clear to everyone. Cool. Now tell me, tell me what is the final answer you are getting? Okay. Now tell me the final answer instead of column wise. Let me write the final answer. The finally, uh, final answer you will be getting is basically two into two one three, which is actually four two six, two one three, and zero. Right. This is the final answer. You can just verify it using your method, which means. This row, this column, this row, this column, whatever you want to do, you can just verify it using your method. You will be getting the same answer. But yeah, that's that's another way of looking at this matrix multiplication. Now tell me, how many linearly independent columns are here? In the final answer, see, you started with just one column here. If you have started with just one column here, then ultimately, ultimately, you will be getting only one linearly independent column, which means that. you 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 pick i mean uh, you pick let's suppose this column which is 2 1 3 every other column can't it be a multiplication of 2 1 3 i mean can you can you get this column as a multiplication of 2 1 3 can you get this column as a multiplication of 2 1 3 yes you can get so basically there is only one column which is relevant every other column is redundant to me because you just started with one column right similarly similarly see you just pick this 4 to 6 Isn't this column is a multiplication of this, which is one uh, by two into this? Isn't this column is a multiplication of this, which is zero into this? Yes. So that is why these could these two columns are dependent on this. Yeah. Uh, you cannot pick this. That that's completely fine. But uh, my idea is that uh, that here you have one column which is which can produce every other column. So only one column is linearly independent, right? Because you started with one column only. So if I just ask you how many linearly independent columns are here, then you will just say that one column. so actually you will study this in the rank but in machine learning also there is something called rank one matrix rank one matrix that rank one matrices can be produced using something like this rank one means there is only one linearly independent column in the final answer so if you want to produce a rank one matrix you can produce using something like this which means you take one vector one column vector one row vector you multiply this will be rank one matrix This will always be rank. Uh, I mean, if all are zeros, then it will be rank zero matrix. I will talk about uh, when it can be rank zero. Rank zero means if all elements are zero, then only rank is zero. Rank is zero if and only if all the elements here are zero. Otherwise, rank is non-zero actually. Okay. Anyway, we will talk about these things later. So yeah, uh, I am saying that if you are multiplying two non-zero vectors, I mean at least one non-zero vector basically should be there. Sorry. Uh, 
yeah, two non-zero vectors should be there. So if you multiply two non-zero vectors, then the rank here will be just uh, one. Okay, it cannot be more than one. Anyway, we will talk about I think rank later. So I don't want to confuse you here now. Uh, sorry for that. So let's just remove this. Actually, like uh, in machine learning, there is some topic called PCA. Uh, principal component analysis in the PCA the, this rank one is little useful so maybe like uh, I just got to remember that PCA so I just told you that uh, yeah, uh, in machine learning this uh, rank one things are uh, quite useful but anyway like if you multiply two vectors like this then it will produce a rank one matrix oh, sorry uh, okay let's forget about the rank one but it will produce this uh, this kind of matrices right where you just have one linearly independent column not more than one that is for sure cool so I hope now you understood that if you multiply these kind of vectors, then you will be getting only one linearly dependent column. If you multiply, if you multiply something like this, then you will be getting at most two because here you have uh, you have two. You don't know you don't know whether whether it is one or two. I mean, uh, it is just one column or two columns, and what are these coefficients and all. So you will be getting at most two on the right hand side. See, it depends on both of the things. It depends on this. It depends on this because suppose if all of this is zero, then definitely you will be getting zero. Then only or uh, only you have just zero, right? and uh, you you don't have any linearly independent column if if you have only uh, let's suppose these are the non zeros but if you have only uh, one linearly independent columns out of these two then you only having one linearly independent column but you can say if you are starting with two columns then you can never get more than two linearly independent column that is what you can definitely say because you are starting with two columns here every column is a linear combination of these two columns so that is why you cannot get more than two linearly independent columns that is for sure right Okay, so now let's just answer this uh, this nice question which has been asked in K 2014. So this question is saying how many linearly independent columns are present in it. Actually, uh, this question was saying about to uh, find the rank of this matrix. So uh, I mean, one of the naive way which if you don't know, then what you will be doing, you will be multiplying these two matrices, and then uh, then you will be finding the rank. It is a lengthy procedure. But if you know a simple idea that you are starting with one linear linearly independent column, and okay first uh, pause this video and try it out okay just pause it now and then try it out cool so what i'm saying here is that if you are starting with this column then ultimately you are getting first column is 1 into basically uh, 2 minus 4 7 which is 2 minus 4 7 second column is 18 into minus 36 and 7 into 9 right and then this is 10 then minus 20 and 5 into 7 Right? You will be getting something like this. So basically, all of this is a linear combination of this column only. So how many linearly independent columns are here? In other words, they have actually asked, the actual question is not this, actually they have asked the rank. Okay, But since we have not studied rank, then I am just writing in another way. But yeah, they have actually asked the rank. So how many uh, how many linearly independent columns are there? Just one linearly independent column. Like, I mean, you can do this question with just a fraction of a second if you know the actual concept, like, I mean, how to multiply these two matrices, right? Cool. I hope you understood. So, now, like, let's, let's let me know, I mean, if, you, if there is any confusion because I want you to understand this question. Okay, just comment it out if there is any confusion. So, that's all for this particular video. I just wanted to solve one question, which is this question. Now, in the next video, we will be doing some more questions. So, which are very, very interesting. So, for the next video, what you do, just pause all the questions, pause for all the questions, try to solve it because these are fundamental questions which are really, really nice questions. And if you if you are able to solve it, then definitely you have understood everything very, very, very well. If you are not able to solve it, it is perfectly fine because these are completely new questions and I wanted to convey these questions. That's why I am having these questions in the slide. So, for the next video, for every question, just pause it, solve it and then resume it. Okay. Thank you so much.